Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here, back with another Cryptos News video. Not a mining video, but I had to cover these two stories I just read. Uh, I'll start off with the crypto market prices. Um, nothing, not much has changed today. Uh, moving on uh, to our first story. Almost half a million MicroTik routers infected by crypto mining malware to mine Monero uh, XMR. Uh, article by Andrew T. Uh, released today. Uh, the website is the BitcoinExchangeGuide.com. I don't know how credible this website is, but um, we'll see later on. There's a few tweets that were uh, sent out by a few uh, big um, Twitter creators. Uh, anyway, um, this topic is quite shocking, but I think it's been done before. I mean, malware has been has been infecting computers for the past ten years, mining cryptocurrency. So it's it's nothing new, but happening recently. Um, yeah, I'll uh, just go along the story here. The crypto jacking epidemic continues this week with the news that four hundred and fifteen thousand routers have been infected with crypto mining malware. The targeted routers were quiet, quietly hijacked to mine cryptocurrency without alerting users. So, basically, it's it's talking about uh, routers. So it's it's basically just uh, either home or business routers that have been hijacked. Um, uh, the attack was spotted by security researcher V Res HD and the team at Bad Packets report. Who have been reporting on the issue since August 2018? Wow. So uh, yeah, this um, tweet that went out here by at mix t a t i q. The, the crypto jacking epidemic continues. Over 115,000 routers uh, have been infected with malware designed to securely mine cryptocurrency. Uh, so here's the bad packets report uh, Twitter. And they got a they got 10.5 k followers, so I would say these guys are pretty legit. Uh, it's tweets by Troy Mirsk. We monitor crypto jacking incidents, incidents, mirror like botnets and network abuse. Met mentions in in the news. Okay, so that's legit. Um, go along with the article here. Hackers hackers are specifically targeted vulnerable microtech routers. Oh, so Microtik routers is a special brand. Uh, Microtik here is Microtik. Let's just check it out. This Microtik company here. Okay, so I, I've heard of Microtik before. So they've been around. They've been around for a while. Um, Cloud Core routers. Like they're pretty up to date. Uh, they had a they had a they had a uh, urgent security reminder here. April twenty eighteen. Hmm. Doesn't say anything about Monero. So let's let's go back to the article. Uh, the company recently released a patch to solve a well-known security exploit. Customers and ISPs can patch the exploit in minutes. Unfortunately, hundreds of thousands of routers worldwide remain vulnerable. Many users are unaware of the routers are compromised. Many ISPs are either unaware or indifferent. Huh, so... Oh, that's, uh, it's just basically people not, um, updating their routers. That's why this vulnerability is able to get in. I'm um, going along. When the attackers gain when the attackers gain control of your router using the exploit, they imme immediately install crypto mining software and then start using your internet connection to mine cryptocurrency. The string of attacks uh, reportedly began in August 2018 when the researchers first noticed that the Microtik routers um, uh, were being targeted. At that point, 200,000 routers were forced were found to be infected with the crypto mining malware. Uh, going along over the fast over the last few months, the number of infected devices has doubled. At last count, there were four hundred fifteen thousand infected routers around the world. 
Yada, 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 yada. Devices and major infected routers were found in Brazil. Other significant sunk concentrations can be found in Southwest Asia and Eastern Europe. Huh. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because uh, I'm up in Canada here, and Canada and US, we don't really use those Microtik brands. We use like Fortinet or Asus routers or uh, D Link, those kind of things. <laughs> Attackers used three different security exploits to target vulnerable routers. These l latest cryptojacking attack involves the use of three different security exploits. Although more exploits have may have been identified in the future, as confirmed in a tweet by VresHD earlier this week. Huh. Yeah, so they got like a here's a Twitter picture showing the results of the vulnerable, the uh, corrupted my Microtik routers, basically all over the world. More concentrated South America, Europe, Asia. The US has some, but not a lot. Uh, we, I guess they keep their routers updated, but most of Europe and Asia and South America people don't keep their stuff updated, so... Ah, uh, that's not surprising. Okay, uh, back onto the story. Uh, Vrez HD later urged ISPs to take an active stance against the issue and patch the vulnerable routers before releasing them to customers. If ISPs continue to release vulnerable routers to unsuspecting customers, it's like it seems likely that these attacks will continue. Ah, uh, that's 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 great. That's. Uh, uh, okay, so on, on to the article still. Attackers are using a mix of crypto mining software. Uh, popular crypto mining software CoinHive, which mined Monero. Okay, CoinHive, heard of that. Oh, and what happened to the good old days of just using video cards, huh? Uh, only mine available online. CoinImp, however, is a popular 0% fee JavaScript mining system found online at coinimp.com. We reviewed this software ourselves. Huh, I'm gonna have to check that out later. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, download the latest run firmware upgrade to protect yourself. Yeah, so <laughs> if you own a Microtik router, you better update it. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's quite a scary thing. But, um, I mean, people should update their routers or else it's just going to keep ongoing. And these people, these hackers are just going to make thousands of dollars on Monero. I mean, Monero has been pointed out as a cryptocurrency to be hacked and manipulated and so on and so on. So, I, in my personal opinion, I, I don't mind Monero because it's it's... It's such an oversaturated cryptocurrency, and there's too many, too many of these things that have happened. These mining malware epidemics and botnets mining, crypt, mine, mining Monero. So, uh, I would, uh, my personal opinion, I would, I would stay away, stay away from Monero. Even though everyone says it's a good coin, but uh, it could be fud. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's the end of that article. So so there's another article on thenextweb.com talking about the same thing. Uh, I'll link both of these articles in the description. Uh, the last thing, uh, the second thing, or well, the last thing pretty much I want to talk about was the uh, Argo mining. Uh, Argo mining, um, they have claimed they have seen a 146% increase in crypto mining package sales. So what they mean by package sales is the on the Argo website, if we go to packages, they it's basically a cloud mining, I'm guessing a cloud mining contract like Genesis Mining or Hash Cloud Hash Flare or whatever it's called. Um, I, you all know that these crypto mining packages or cloud mining companies are in the past have been really bad and have stolen money and have canceled contracts because now it's a bear market the the whole cryptocurrency market has gone down 
this Argo mining company, uh, they said, okay, the, so on newsbtc.com, not sure how legit this website is, but it said they've claimed Argo blockchain to be the first cryptocurrency company listed on the London Stock Exchange. So the London Stock Exchange is one of the oldest stock exchanges in the world, has proved, has a has approved the listing of subscription-based mining firm Argo Blockchain, which will be the first crypto-related com company listed. Uh, so that's interesting. So like you don't see Genesis Mining being listed on the London Stock Exchange. Uh, but anyway, the Argo Mining website has sold out of all of their mining packages. And... Uh, yeah, I, I guess that's because they said they have seen a 146% increase. Um, going on along the article here, uh, a, shattered crypto, a shattered crypto market has not deterred miners from purchasing crypto mining software packages. The UK-based mining as a service, uh, in, in quotations here, M-A-A-S, firm noted that a 146% jump in sales between October 1st and December 4th after selling a new batch of packages. So either this is FUD or it's true and people are still continue, is continuing to mine even though mining is quite down significantly. I mean difficulty and hash rate has gone down so then if you were starting to mine now you'd be you'd be getting more of the coin but the price of the coin right now is is obviously down quite a bit since the all-time high as you can see as as we're making this video right now ethereum has dropped two percent to 107 and bitcoin has went down 1.16 percent so I, I don't know if these these packages are I don't know how much these packages are, are worth I I don't think it's they're worth that much um, this year if we go to the ethereum con contract uh, ethereum package 110 mega hash I wonder how much that is it says sold out here so we won't know the price um, going back to the article uh, it led the company to beat its January 2019 sales targets ahead of time and by notable margin. As, as of now, Argo expects the note of annual revenue to be $6.2 million, up from the $0.26 million when it listed on the London Stock Exchange. Wow. Meanwhile, its firm stated that its net cash balance as of November 30th has reached close, a close to $19.22 million. Wow, that's, that's quite a bit. So they've cashed in on all these packages. Um, interesting. So I guess these are just inv investors, big investors uh, buying these packages or people who don't want to... Uh, invest in the hardware and do the mining themselves they just rather um, buy these packages and let let Argo blockchain do all the work but who knows how much these packages are worth versus buying the hardware and doing it yourself right uh, let me just skim here going through the article uh, simple mining uh, the, uh, that's also a software uh, simplemining.net Affiliated, but uh, the crypto mining sector faced huge losses after crypto market crashed more than 80% from its all-time high. Miners were bullish on the specific cryptocurrencies pre-ordered expensive mining equipment, expecting their tokenized rewards would, would be met with a higher flat equivalent down the road. At the same time, chip makers, chip making companies such as Nvidia and AMD misread, misread the demand for crypto mining equipment and oversupplied the market. As the demand dropped due to non-profitability, they eventually stopped manufacturing more mining chips. Which is true, and as you can see, the NVIDIA stock and AMD stock has gone down almost, uh, I think, 30 to 50%. So whoever bought the NVIDIA and AMD stock uh, lost quite a bit so far. Not good. Uh, to end off here, Argo, on the other hand, has removed the necessity of owning owing mining equipment from the equation. Oh, okay. So Argo, Argo blockchain, they don't, 
they don't own uh, on owning the mining equipment. Their users your users subscribe to the monthly packages, and they use the money to run their mining operation in countries with cheaper electricity rates. Thereby ensuring profits to all. Noting that Argo is heavily regulated, investors appear more confident in their business model. Last checked, Argo shares went up 18.4% to 5.6p. I uh, don't know what that is, but uh, okay, okay. So they're they're in they're just operating in countries with really cheap electrical rates and running their mining operations themselves. Huh. Okay. Well, I hope that's uh, interesting to you guys. I mean, in my in my opinion, I don't I don't I don't agree with um, like centralized uh, mining companies and uh, these so-called packages or contracts uh, lasting a month. That it sounds, uh, I I don't trust it. Anyway. Um, yeah. Upgrade your Microtik router if you got one. And uh, anyway, keep on mining, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Red Panda Mining, out.